So here we are on day six and we are reflecting on 2018 today and the 10 days of IVA. And for our international conference in 2018, we ventured out of the United States and we landed in the capital of Scotland, Edinburgh, for the very first time. And we had a wonderful week in Edinburgh. And I was so proud to host all of my friends and colleagues in such a beautiful city for five days of fun and we really packed this conference full of everything that we could possibly think of. We kicked off the day of before the conference with a musical theatre masterclass and we had one of our IVA teachers, Fiona McDougall, who is head of voice for Andrew Lloyd Webber and one of her associates, Chelsea Wilson, who coaches in New York on Broadway. So they came and did this amazing masterclass on musical theatre and additions and prep and they worked with singers from Edinburgh and that was absolutely amazing to watch them work. Then we had five days of conference and we had Professor Graham Welch who joined us to give a masterclass. And then we had an interview with the two Welchies, Professor Graham Welch and our Director of Education, Spencer Welch. And then, you know, if that wasn't enough, the one and only Natalie Weiss just happened to be in town and dropped me a message. So she came along and she attended some of our sessions and then she did a wonderful lunchtime session for our teachers, taught them some riffs and runs and things like that. So here's a little clip of that. So it's fun. We do lots of fun things like this at conference. And just the fact that she happened to be in town at the, at the right time was wonderful. And that added just another little bit of cherry on top of the cake for EvaCon in Edinburgh. Shar and I also ventured into the world of daily vlogging where we shared our daily vlogs from conference every day. We would wrap up in our sleep deprived and exhausted states and we would talk nonsense for seven or eight minutes about what happened that day and share those with the world. But after conference, we were still busy, still working hard on making the company better, making the education better, finding new ways and new things to do to deliver the education. We introduced a lot of new topics and subjects at conference, and we were venturing out into the world again with our events. We were in Singapore, we were in South Korea, we were in China, and then we were in Munich. And we did some masterclasses and had some amazing turnouts. I mean, we had 105 people come to Singapore. We had 100 people come to South Korea. We had 50 people come to Munich, and we had 55 people come in China. So that was an opportunity for us to connect with singers around the world. And then if that wasn't enough, we were invited to deliver a presentation at a boys conference in The Hague in September. Jeffrey Skousen and Andreas Grusel went to The Hague and delivered a presentation for the conference there. So 2018 was, again, a busy year for us. And as I say, a first for us bringing our conference to Edinburgh. And that was a lot of fun. And I was moving house at the time. And I distinctly remember making up goodie bags for conference attendees and having 130 water bottles scattered around this apartment that we were staying in as I was trying to put them all through the dishwasher to sanitize them. So there was bottles everywhere. And yeah, we had a lot of fun. And another memory that sticks in my head from that conference was was we always host a karaoke open mic night and it always gets a bit wild as you can imagine you know a lot of singing teachers in a room with microphones and music so it gets a bit of a it's a lot of fun we're having a great time and at one point there was a 70 person long conga line going around the karaoke room which was the hotel were rather perplexed as to what on earth we were doing but it was such a good time and we were having such fun that we actually got asked to be quiet because we were being too loud for the other guests so those are my memories from 2018 and join me tomorrow when we will be reflecting on 2019 where we had conference in the castle